Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we are back on our first season, episode 2 of Terror Tech. Now, in the last episode, I believe we, well, we started off, first of all. Uh, we got some more parts, we upgraded our tech, we've got more guns now, and we are a lot more mo mobile? Yeah, I was about to say, we're a lot more mobility, but that does not make sense. So, uh, today, I think in the last episode, I said that we would start Crafty Business. And we have the, uh, quest, uh, first at the top, right? And we're gonna accept it. We're going to go over to the quest location. Um, also, uh, we have actually been getting quite a lot of subscribers lately after this series. Like, I checked... Before this series started, I had 70. The day after, I had 75, which was quite insane. Uh, but we're going to continue, as I think you guys like this series. Now, over here is Crafty Mike. Now, I've done this quest multiple times. Uh, what's up, kiddo? Crafty Mike's the name. And today's your lucky day. Now, he makes a lot of manufacturing. My base came under attack. And you get to help with the repair work. So we have conveyor belts here. Now these transport resources, which we get from like trees, rocks, crystals, etc. Um, we get all the other conveyors and we'll put them on. And here is the resource receiver. And I think we put that on the end. I think. Yep. There we go. Now, I think he wants us to go get some resources, or he just might put some on the belt. Yeah. As you can see, these are, uh, what are these? Plume by ore. Yeah. And each of those unrefined ore gives us 18 block bucks, uh, block bucks which is alright, as we are pretty poor right now. Um, but soon, once we get heaps of these blocks, we'll be able to make... Heaps of refinery bases, automatic bases, refinery bots even, which I'm going to get into that soon. Um, he's going to send us a delivery crate now. So this is right here. And here we will get the refinery. As I said before, those resources were unrefined. Um, so if we attach the refinery to the conveyor belt, uh, he's just going to put some resources on the conveyor belt, I believe, again. Um, yeah, take a look. So he's going to put the plume bite or on the conveyor. Now it goes through the refinery. And now it's a refined plume bite or so this should give me now 27. So it's around just a little less than double. Um, but that gave us quite a bit now. So... I think he's going to go now, but these are now our blocks. So I'm going to take this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find another trading station again. Um, what I'm going to do... Well, first of all, take out this enemy tech. Oh, hello, Elvis. There we go. Get some pretty good guns. Do I have my SCU yet? No, I do not. Okay, I guess we can take the wheels if we want. Would this drag us? Doesn't really make a difference. There is a lot of guns though, which I'll take. That's pretty handy. There you go, put the guns on the sides. So now we have a lot more firepower. I'll put some of them just on the back so we can take them back to base. Can we put these on the side? Yes, we can actually. I'm going to change the orientation of that. Um, put another gun on that side and now I've got a lot more firepower. Uh, put another wheel on the back. I don't think this should drag us too much. But now we can turn a lot more easier so that will be very useful in combat because a lot of the time you need to uh, swivel a lot more look our turrets actually defending against another enemy tech 
He's gonna drill them. Or oh, bigger Tony. Small blocks. Um, alright. So we can do Charlie Watchtower. Which I might do in the next episode, because that gets pretty hard sometimes if you don't have the right guns and the right amount of batteries. But we'll do Crafty Business too. So we're going to say hi to Crafty Mark yet again. Um, yeah, this doesn't drag us to... Actually, are they hovering? I think the wheels are hovering. That's pretty good. Here's Crafty Mark again. Hey, look who's back. Good to see you again, kiddo. It's your old pal, Crafty Mike. Now he's going to show us a resource silo. He had another little accident. He seems to have, always have lots of base accidents. Um, could you reattach the receiver for me? Oh, there it is. Now I can use the silo again, which is this part here. So this is this stacks up quite a lot of resources, so it's in the name. It's a silo. Yep, yeah, as I said, they can hold a ton of resources. Go ahead and attach the rest of the conveyors. That is very true. This is why farming resources is a lot more efficient than um, buying stuff or, ref uh, or like, yeah, it's, it's buying stuff. That's the only thing that came to mind, actually. And I think we'll get the fabricator. Yeah. So now this actually, I'll show you in a second. I want to spoil it. So we grab this, put that on the side. So that's now anchored. So if I right click this, we can now craft a GSO block. Now you see this now has two little antennas. Now it needs one uh, fiber wood and two plume bite ore. Now it's created a GSO block. So if you can see where I'm getting uh, to this, if we have enough resources, we can manufacture as much blocks as we want, as long as we have the resources. So we've already completed the uh, mission already. Um, I think we can now, oh, don't want to do that, but I can just take the entire machine with me. As we don't really need the GSO blocks but I will keep the fabricator because there are some weapons and a lot of other blocks which I do need. Um, soon we can get a really cool weapon, which I actually haven't used that much, but yes. We'll quickly anchor. We'll see if there's any... Okay, we can do Charlie Watchtower, which I'll do in the next episode probably once we get more guns. We'll do Novice Harvester. Um... You just gotta chop down trees, so that's pretty easy, as we're in a, like a plains uh, forest sort of area. Big chunk of trees over here. Oh. So you know like a um full fabrication base, I believe. Oh, repair bubble. I'll put that on the back. Um so like I can be a mobile Crafter. We also have a mobile refinery so we can order, uh, sell stuff. Okay, what have we got? Okay, we've got our angled plasma cutter. That won't shoot. Yep. Um, one of the drills. Uh, oh, a resource site. Uh, not a resource seller, a receiver? Is that what they're called? Yep. Now will this race? I think I can glitch block uh resources. Okay. That's better than nothing. Um we'll take the remainders of the items and we'll put them there. And then we'll just take them and put them in our SCU. As you can see it holds a lot. Um yeah, pick a collector. Now we've just got like a giant wing. Um I just do that. Stay up the back. Uh, 
put this on the back, then we can um, have it relatively even. Um, we've got Novice Harvester 2. Let's clear out some rocks. That should be pretty straightforward. This might take a little bit, just seeing I don't have... I do have front drills, it's just... Does it actually reach? Actually, yeah, it does. I think that would make more sense then, wouldn't it? Yeah. Clear out the tree. Okay. We might have to actually travel to another trading station um, soon because otherwise um, we would just have to do Charlie Watchtower this episode. Um, I can go forth, but I'd need heaps of batteries for my shield, and they do have lots of splash damage weapons, so it would take out a lot of my front, so that's the only thing I'm really concerned about, because last time I tried this, this was actually a new mission, so I wasn't very, um, skilled in fighting out whatever it is. I'm not, I know what it is, but I'm not going to spoil it, because... I don't like to spoil things. This little unusual tech over here. Let's say hello. He's quite aggressive. Tiny scorpion. He's now even tinier. Uh, let's go clear out these rocks over here. There we go. Drill through all of them. I should probably switch out these. Actually, I do have an idea. We do that. We put these there. And then what we can do is we just put our... Oh, we have the perfect amount. And we just draw through them. That's a lot easier now. Here we go. <laughs> That's a lot of resources. Okay, we have an anchor, so I don't have to take all the resources again. Is that a furnace generator? Yep. Um, more of those pipes. Um, and... Nothing really of value. I mean, the anchor is probably the... Oh, the resource fuel generator is probably the most expensive there. Um... I think with that no it wouldn't work in the um, steam silos or whatever they're called um, novice harvester 3 sell resources 50 are we gonna go around this side I think this might actually it might not be enough but it might be we should collect some resources just in case it isn't um, this point I'm not sure what we can do Ch doing Charlie Watchtower will actually um, uh, get us to know um, Agent Powell which is one of the military uh, GSO agents we we'll just posit these this might be enough actually yes yeah, will be enough Alright, it's gotta sit here, relax. I'm not sure how our battery was going up before, because that does not make sense. I'll take it. Um, oh, it's because of the. Yep. Yeah. Alright, what are we. Okay, we've got the Jaws wheels, are they? No, Crusher wheels. Okay. Um, a plasma cutter. Jaws wheels are probably the most valuable there. We'll move everything over here. There we go. Um, move everything there so it can get sucked up. 
Anything else? Alright, we've got a crash site. This is... How far? Only 400 meters away. Okay. It's just around the first crafty micro business area. No problem. Actually, at this point... Do I have any GSO blocks? Oh, not GSO. Geocorp blocks. No. Okay. We're probably going to just extend our robot out a little bit further. Just with a few blocks. Um, yep. One, two, three, four. That should be enough. Take the wheels off. One, two, three, four. Okay. The crusher wheels will put on this side. And then we'll put on more of the rugged wheels. Um, I would probably like to put some silos up the back. We could make this... Um, we could actually make this a... Not a fabricator, a refinery. That's what I wanted. No, we'll have to put it on. Actually, essentially... We don't need... We can just put... Would that work? Hold up, let's just test this real quick, because... This might work really well. Um, let's quickly just test this out, because... Say, if we wanted to... Oh, we need to take these off. Oh, we'll just put them... There. Now, if we did this, say... Alright. Alright, so we might need to get rid of these. Because these are causing some issues. So if we anchored... It does work, okay. And once we get a pacemaker, we'd be able to... Okay, so we already have a, a mobile refinery base for now. We can uh, upgrade this even further, like, a lot. This is just the basic of basics. Um, let's head over to the crash site. Oh, there it is. I think there might be some enemy techs we might have to destroy. What does say? um... A shield and repair bubble tech over there. Alright. Alright, there's no enemies. I think sometimes there's a chance that there's enemies, sometimes there's not. So, maybe if we did that... Is there an anchor here? No. Um, hold on, I'll just get the anchor out so I can put all these blocks onto them. There we go. Put all these away. Now, what I can do... Say, if I wanted to put resource chunks on this one... Okay, so that wouldn't... What I would need to do... Okay, I know, I know what I need to do. So I need one block, which is fine, because then we have a wheel that we can put there. Um, if we just extend this out by a few, I think this would work. Get our manufacturing blocks out. Hopefully we have enough. One. Oh, just enough. Okay. Now. Oh, okay, we need receivers on these sides. Okay. 
Okay, so we can't... Hmm, this is a real... I think we might need to go just with the... The one. Because otherwise it won't work. We'll put all these away. Yeah, we might need to go with a receiver going into a silo and then it would work. All right, let's quickly just put all the blocks. All right, so what we need is that. It goes into the silo. This. Uh, like that. Oh wait, no, we wouldn't need conveyors, would we? No. That's fine, actually. Because then... Right, let's get the anchor out, and let's just put all the other blocks on. Because then I think it works. This is a very confusing build. i got to learn to know my uh, Terratech manufacturing a lot more. That's one thing I wanted to do... Wait, no, we just do that. Yeah, I think we just go with that. Yeah, it's fine like that. All right, find another trading station. Hopefully, Charlie Watchtower isn't the one mission. Hmm. Well, can we just go over this tech and take him out. He's aggressive like the last one. Well, that's not nice. I had to put him down. But that's a repair bubble. I'll take that. Another gun. We put on the side. Is that a gun over here? No, it's just a back wheel. No. Alright, nothing else that we need. Let's quickly go to the <laughs> our turret there, doing the work as it is intended. <laughs> the enemy robot doing a uh, mono. Okay. Oh, okay. It is Charlie Watchtower. And it's 1.5 kilometers away. That's not very okay we might have to do this yeah you know what we might as well I guess we head in this direction and quickly charge up that's also a very close moon And while we're here, we could buy some more batteries if I could. There we go. Yep. Power me. No, I don't have enough block bucks for one. All right. This is why we need one of these, which is very handy. So we can just get all the valuable resources, stock them up, and sell them. There we go. Let's go to Charlie Watchtower. Now you'll see what this is and it is very um very annoying mission but once you do it it's done. I'm also going to make a save file here because I've done this multiple times uh, the first time I've done it and it has not gone very well uh, resulting in loss of games um, because silly me forgot to save the file as I got there, and then I got into combat straight away. Um, okay. That's not too far, actually. Only 900 meters away. Again. This text unique. Revolution. 
Well, I just put an end to it. All right. Over to the watchtower. Soon I think a giant structure should pop up. There's a trading station here, so we could actually get another mission. That would save us. Let's see. Hopefully... Oh! All of them aren't Charlie Watchtower. Alright. What we're going to do is we're going to cancel... No, we can't cancel. Um, I'm going to make a save here just if I want to, you know... Overwrite that save. Um, so we've got hooligans. Dispose of the hooligan. No, yeah, of the hooligans. I want to upgrade GSO license fully to, I think it's six or five. And then um, the fabricator or, no, not the fabricator, the payload terminal. Um, I can just buy whatever I want. All right, the hooligans are over here. 200 meters away. Oh yeah, I can see them. One of them's mining up some stuff or something. The Terminator. Oh, he's gone. Oh, I could have got that mortar. Alright, he's gone. This one has some... Oh no, I wanted to get that. Okay. I'm going to finish off slowly. There we go. Oh, there we go. Alright, we have a double cab. I don't know why the music's still going. Oh, one's decided to come over and take Bolu. Well, no, you cannot. Sir. Sir. Oh, you're covered in guns. He's very paranoid somebody's going to shoot him up at the back. Um, Alright, we've got the Jaws wheels. Are these? Yeah, the Jaws wheels. Alright, we're going to switch that out. That's one of... That is a, that's a very big wheel, as you can see. Okay. What I can do is I just anchor here. I can take all the blocks that I want. The block maggot, uh, magnet, maybe, because sometimes it gets very annoying. Um, I will take, oh, a second jaw wheel. Okay. I'll switch that out with the second one. Well, block off the gun, that's fine. Yeah, this is producing some block bucks. Um, nothing really of interest here. I mean, I could have got those mortars, but I shot them, which was not very good. Um, we'll go over to the trading station again and get these last few missions. Um, I'll just do that. And I'll get the anchor down. Put that on there. There we go. We can charge over at the trading station because that will charge up a lot faster. There's a little guy. I think he wants to buy some, some blocks. Hey, it's not very nice. I'll quickly put him out of his misery. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to do this. Do I? All right, I had to. Um, let's see the missions. Oh, okay, we can do Crafty Business 3. That makes a lot more sense to do. And he is very close as well. That works out perfectly. So now we don't have to do Charlie Watchtower yet, but we will do that in the next episode, I assure you. Okay, also, uh, if you don't mind hitting the subscribe button, as it, it really helps out the channel, and I've made a new goal of trying to get to 
100 subs by the end of this year. I think it is doable if we, if I do a lot of hard work and you guys help me, because you guys are the, the soul of how my channel becomes successful. Um, but yeah, uh, Crafty Mike is over here. I quickly gotta heal up my tech real quick, because I took a bit of damage. Um, is this the pacemaker or the filter? I think it's the filter. Yep. Okay. Perhaps you could attach the filter to the base for me. There we go. So this will allow blocks that it accepts to go in and out. So it's really good for making designated uh, silos uh, dedicated to resources. Um, so I will soon make a, a video uh, in creative mode, making multiple types of, um, different robots and farms and fabrication systems, and I will test them out in this world. So if we right click, and then we go to filter groups, um, is it fuel chunks only? Fiberwood chunk. Um, there we go. Fantastic. So why would we need to filter specific chunks? Now I said before, kid I thought you'd never ask. Special delivery incoming, mind your head, you know the drill. Oh, we didn't have to move. Is this the, uh, the fuel generator, or the furnace generator? Yep, yeah, so this will allow, say, if I wanted wood or rubber jelly to uh, make fuel, uh, but I didn't want other things to create fuel. This is where the filter and the fuel generator come in handy. All right. So, put the fiberwood chunk back onto the conveyor. Oh, wait, Did I, was I supposed to put that on? Do I, or did one fall? Oh, I need to get one. Oh, leaving already. Put the fiberwood chunk on the conveyor to feed it into the generator. There we go. And it goes through the filter because it automatically recognizes that um, it's fiberwood. So the furnace generator actually makes batteries go up very fast. So I could make a tech where it's, it's a night shift one and it just burns through wood to uh, get fuel to power the um, the repair and the shield bubbles. So as you can see there, it's only letting the wood go through and the rubber jelly and the plume bite is going directly to the silo. So the filter passed, or whatever it said, and let everything else carry on towards the silo. I'll let you into another one of my little secrets, kiddo. The generator doesn't only use fiber wood uh, for power. It can use other fuel types, type resources as well. So if I hold right click and I filter fuel chunks, that's it. Take a look at some of the other resources that can be used as fuel. So the plume bite won't go through. But the, what was that? The oil light jelly and the, what was this? Forgot what that was called again. But yeah, it just, yeah, it does stuff. It is a very efficient way of getting fuel. As you can see, as it already powered up the, um, the base. But let's quickly do that. Um, but yeah, let's head over to the trading station again. Alright. My tech is getting a little bit wide, but that's fine as every time you upgrade your tech, it's probably going to get bigger. Or if you're making new techs, they'll start off smaller. Um, 
unboxing or maybe we could do that in the next episode we are close to level two or level three sorry but yeah but i think that actually might be where i end off today's episode so um as always thanks for watching uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button as it's free it really helps out the channel and as i said just before um i've got a lot uh, not a like goal a subscribe goal of 100 by the end of this year so hopefully we can reach that um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.